We hear that you're a prominent board official in Boston now. You're the New England chairman of the New England GA board. Do you think you would have been a better manager than the current manager, Terrence, and why? Well, first of all, I am the vice chairman of the Boston board here in Boston, and it's a great honor to have. Uh, and I'd like to thank Malin GA for setting me on the right path in my GA career and all the help that the club has given me in my younger years uh, has helped me to do this job uh, so i'd just like to thank them very much on that and on the terms question that's a very hard question to answer because terms has done a wonderful job with malin and his three years in charge They've retained Division 1 status this year again, which is an excellent achievement for such a small club and Ireland's most northeast club. So I'm just going to refine not to answering that question. But hopefully in the very near future, or soon enough, that maybe we'll be fit to manage Malin together. And I hear that your special guest tonight is... Frank McGlynn from Glenfin. Well, Frank, uh, I would just like to say to you that I hope you enjoy yourself tonight at the Malin GA dinner dance because I know that Big Neil and Michael Murphy and Ryan McHugh and Paul Durkin, I know they'll not be enjoying themselves in Boston here for the All Star Awards. I know that you're going to have a much better time in Boston or in Malin. And just before I leave, uh, Frank, I, I just took on a new position of the Wolf Tones Senior Manager for 2015. And if you're ever looking to come to Boston, give me a call anytime you want. Because as you know, my fellow clubman and friend, Paul Martin Green, is the manager of Donegal. But as last year proved, he spent very little time on the sidelines because he was suspended for most of the year through his bad mouth. And I'm sure Helene McLaughlin, who is Pat Fanny's wife, will keep you up to date on how he talks when he's on the line. Thank you and have a good night. Do you think you'd have made a better chairman than David Gallagher and why? Well, well, that's kind of an easy question to answer because uh, any man that you see coming to a club meeting and he comes in and sits down and the meeting starts and then he has to go back out to his van again to take in his paperwork for the night and when he comes in he's usually carrying one of these here. It's like a shopping bag. And he just looks into it and then you see him pushing up his glasses and he keeps looking and he remembers that he he forgot everything at the house so yeah that's a quite easy question to answer if i couldn't do as good a job as david gallagher i don't think i'll go for the position and as far as i hear from prominent members in the club when i was home for the all Ireland final that every every night before there's a meeting you always see David Gallagher's van coming down from Rusters about 15 to 20 minutes before the meeting so I think we all know who still gives David advice on his chairman's role but I have to still say congratulations congratulations David you're doing a wonderful job as talking for Paddy Rustert. Thanks. You're also a past pupil of Louis Walsh's. Do you think that has helped you survive in the big bad American world? <laughs> well, I really don't know how to answer this question because a lot of the things that I want to say, I can't say them. But... First of all, 
I would just like to thank Louis for keeping me at Glengad National School for as long as he had the Blue Opal Cadet. And we all know how long he had that for. But I had a very I had a lot of very important jobs to do in that school. I started out probably doing the milk. And then I more I more or less ended up as the teacher secretary for a long number of years, as Martin Lafferty is well fit to tell you all, anybody that's sitting close to him. He also he he once stated that I went to school with his father and I ended up leaving with him. So that's a long, long number of years. But hopefully Monica and Louis are still there at the dinner dance to, to listen to my answer because as we all know, when it comes to special functions and weddings, well, they don't usually show up for many weddings, but that's, we leave that for another day. Uh, I just hope they're still there and uh, can listen to the to this answer that I give. But I think that Louis has uh, definitely helped me for my time in America because every now and then I would phone him and you're always sure to get a bit of advice or hear an odd story about Noel. But some of them stories I can't really repeat as well because I know there's probably 250 people at the Malgia dinner dance. So I'll just say yes, he has helped me a lot in my uh, in, for my stay in America. Uh, thank you very much, Lewis, as, as, you're, as you like to be known as. But I just heard as well the other day, but I hope this is not true, that Terence might be thinking about giving up the manager's job next year. And if he is, I've heard that there's one man whose name that should be brought put forward for it. And his name is John McColgan, because as we all know in the parish of Mallon, John McColgan knows everything about football. I think you should all agree on that. Thanks.